Hello and welcome to HBM's Crypto Corner for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2016. We got some really good stuff to talk about today, so let's get started. This Sunday on Monster X Radio, Thomas Steenberg will be making his first appearance on the show. That'll be at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 p.m. Pacific. And that'll be at blogtalkradio.com slash mxr. Should be a great show. Author Tom Powell recently appeared on the unannounced, but it was the season finale of Finding Bigfoot from this past Sunday. And his new book is available now, Edges of Science. <clears throat> he uh, talks about his life being an X-Files episode. And uh, he has discussed how his latest book, Edges of Science, fits Bigfoot into the X-Files genre. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I have not read um, his new book, Edges of Science, as of yet. I do plan on reading it at some point, however. I mean, and regardless of what you may think of, uh, of the possibility of Sasquatch being tied in with uh, paranormal things... It's a different. It's a bit of a different perspective. Tom does bring a little bit of a uh, different take on the subject. Uh, whether you agree with it or not, it is interesting. I have to say. Seth Breedlove and Small Town Monsters need your help to kickstart their Boggy Creek Monster documentary. The Truth Behind the Legend, currently in, pro in the production stage, is in need of funding. Uh, Seth and Lyle Blackburn are working together in conjunction to, uh, to try and fund this project. I think it's going to be great. I, based on seeing uh, Minerva Monster and the upcoming uh, Beast of Whitehall. So, I think this is going to be really great. I, I, I think it's going to be just as good, maybe better than Minerva Monster. Who knows? I'm looking forward to seeing it when, when, it's final, when, the, when the final product is released. Finally today, uh, Cliff Barrickman, who I just texted uh, last night, and he texted me back and said that, yes, this last Sunday was the unannounced season finale of Finding Bigfoot. This is an excerpt from the article that was written about him for the Newsweek magazine special edition on Bigfoot, which was released back in November. And um, Cliff, I think I think he deserves the uh, the accolades he gets and the attention he gets because he's a terrific researcher. I mean, he's pretty good on the show, but he's also pretty great outside the show. And he's a, he's also a very cool guy. So, if anybody, if there's any, any Bigfooters out there who have not met Cliff, uh, if you're in Ohio this May, uh, take take an opportunity to uh, to meet the man, you know, and talk to him. He's very approachable and very easy to talk to. By the way, Cliff mentioned that. Uh, the next season of Finding Bigfoot will start probably late spring, maybe early summer. So for those who are fans of the show, uh, I recommend uh, you know, checking the, the, the Animal Planet schedule probably right around the month of May. Uh, they should give you some, plenty of information about the upcoming season. Um... Let's see. <laughs> what else should I talk about today? Oh, the X Files. Yes, the X Files keeps rolling along. Uh, it's had some mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people don't. But I've actually enjoyed it myself. And uh, this Saturday night, starting at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, uh, we're going to be talking about it. Shane Bradbury and myself, we're going to discuss this last week's. Uh, very very humorous episode 
Uh, I thought it was actually very well done, and it was really funny. It it was it was played it was obviously played more for laughs than anything else. It really wasn't played to be serious. It was really terrific. Plus, there was a great nod to the late Darren McGavin's character of Kolchak the Night Stalker. Anybody who saw the episode probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, I thought it was I thought it was great. Um, and there's three episodes to go in this season. I mentioned, yeah, it'll be uh, Shane Bradbury and myself talking about it this Saturday night. Uh, the channel is called Breaking Bad Cast. That's the channel we will be uh, discussing the X-Files on. Like I said, it'll be 8 Eastern, 7 Central. And just do a search on YouTube for Breaking Bad Cast. That's the home of not only the Breaking Bad Cast, but also the X Cast, where we discuss the X Files. And by the way, Rick Riello has recently pointed out that yes, there was a Bigfoot episode on the original X Files. It was the fifth episode of the first season called Jersey Devil. For all intents and purposes, the the monster of the week on that particular episode was a Bigfoot. And also on the episode Jose Chung's from Outer Space near the end Mulder is watching a clip from the Patterson Gimlin film. So there have and there have been a few Bigfoot references here and there on the show. And there was even a Sasquatch reference on this past Monday's episode of the X-Files. So, it was really great. I mean, the, the fact that they, that they do sort of uh, acknowledge uh, Bigfoot and acknowledge Sasquatch. Um, but, yeah, it's really great. So, anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Of course, we want to thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, we want to thank you for the positive feedback that we got for last week's show which looked at different uh, Bigfoot action figures and toys over the years and I'm going to try and do a segment on different uh, aspects of the Bigfoot mystery whether it's pop culture whether it's evidence or something like that um, can't say what I'm going to be doing uh, in next month well, it won't be next month. It'll probably be the end of this month. But it's going to be good. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So until next week, y'all be good or be good at it. This has been HBM's Crypto Corner.